AllisonWinePromo.com. It's where you can join the wine club. I got to get that interview up with Diego. I interviewed him a couple weeks ago, the guy who goes all over the world to find these wines. Once a month, we're going to hear from him, and we're going to talk about the wine, all that good stuff. We just used the last few weeks to kind of let everybody know about the change, because instead of it just being like buy a bottle or here, two or three, whenever you want it, now you're going to sign up for the club. You get six bottles every three months. You're going to learn all about them. You're going to be drinking the same wine I'm drinking. We're going to start talking about it during the shows. It's going to be a lot of fun. So sign up. You'll get on the list serve the email. You'll find out everything about it. And you get new member discount. Um, it's a great way to support the work. These are great wines. They are wines you really cannot get anywhere else. They are from small batch providers, uh, vineyards, small family farms, hand-picked grapes. It's like the anti-big food of the wine industry. And um, honestly, if you like supporting small businesses and you're into food and agriculture and you drink wine, like th this is it. And it's honestly a really great price. I mean, they're not cheap, cheap, cheap wine, but also you would be paying a lot more for this kind of wine if you bought it anywhere else. And like I said, it's a great way to support the work too. Locals is also a great way to support the work. Um, see, this is what I'm seeing right now. Unfortunately, sorry, everyone's not seeing it, but normally it does work. So Join the editorial board, five bucks a month, alisonmorrow.locals.com. You can go one-on-one -on -one with the most censored people on the internet, put your questions ahead of time. And as always, send me some real mail, PO Box 3355, Denellen, Florida, 34432. I love getting the mail. It's amazing. I just got this t-shirt and postcard from a pastor in um, Labrador, Labrador, the big land. Thank you very much, John Lewis. His pastor there says, greetings from your favorite American pastor serving in the big land. Thank you for all you do. And may God bless your family in the days ahead. So we're going to have to go visit the big land because I looked it up and it looks amazing. I'm going to show you one last quick clip. We're not going to watch all of it, but um, if I can find it. Yes, here we go. Is it here? Here. U.S. lawmakers grill. Here we go. Hang on. Let me just stop. I got to represent it here. Um, U.S. lawmakers grill former Biden admin officials who pressured social media companies to censor. Okay. And I'm just going to play this quick clip. Um, this is just to make sure I get my facts right. Okay. Yeah. Congressman Jim Jordan questioning Rob Flaherty, who's like deep in deep, 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 deep in Biden slash Obama world. And he was a communications guy. He, he basically did administration messaging for COVID um, and did like a lot of the, the big tech, uh, interactions that we've heard about saying, Hey, we want to flag this post. This is misinformation, all that stuff. And so let's just listen to this real fast. How about what professor Zawicki brought up, Mr. Flaherty, when, when the, when the white house said there was no such thing as natural immunity, was that misinformation or disinformation? Again, Congressman, I, I, I am not a medical expert, and uh, my job was to communicate on behalf of a, a team of medical experts. So you weren't a medical expert, but you could suggest to Facebook that they needed to change their algorithm so that the American people would not see stuff from the Daily Wire. They'd only see stuff from the New York Times. You can do that, but you can't tell me if they were guessing or lying when they said something that was absolutely not true. Okay, just put aside the fact that the Daily Wire is embroiled in all this controversy right now. Maybe you don't even like them, but... Um, Two things that I took away from this that I think is really interesting in this just one segment is the fact that the guy's like, Flaherty's like, well, I'm not a medical expert. I just I just told them what to do. Oh, and then he was like, well, I didn't tell them what to do. I mean, it's just like just flag stuff. I mean, I I told them what, what we think is the best science in the world at the time. But how does this guy know? Because he's not a medical expert. I mean, I just think that's so interesting. So he's like, I really can't tell you anything about how we made our decisions or who was involved. This The whole hearing was extremely vague when it came to answers. I personally think a lot of these hearings, for the most part, 99% of the time, are a total waste of space and and energy. They're, like Nothing comes out of them. This is the, uh, like, the Committee on Weaponization of the Federal Government, which, by the way, let me just tell you this. I had somebody from one of the Alphabet Soup agencies originally say that, like, I will say he or she, was going to come on and talk about it. Used to work at one of the the federal law enforcement agencies that has been in the news recently and is totally corrupt. And this guy, uh, lady, <laughs> whatever, this person totally like you know has strong opinions about it all, but essentially just bailed on me. Um, not like last minute or anything, but when we we're going going back and forth, just decided it's just not worth it. Because, frankly, fear. 
and um, yeah, won't speak out and won't speak out about a federal law enforcement agency because of the weaponization. That was the word this person used of law enforcement agencies. So this person who's like, you know, connected, knows all these people, does all this stuff. That person doesn't want to speak out against them. Where's the hope for the rest of us? You know, it's funny because I was talking to my dad about this and he's like, that means that we're not headed towards communism. We are in communism. And I mean, I know like friends who are like, that's ridiculous. If you're communist, <clears throat> you'd be taken off to the gulags right now. We're not anywhere close to that. I don't know what you guys think about it. I think it's pretty bad. I think it's pretty, pretty bad that, that somebody who used to work at one of these federal law enforcement agencies will not speak out against it um, for fear of retaliation. And not just for fear of retaliation, like, you know, uh, will tweet something nasty about you online, like legitimate life altering business ending and potentially, you know, criminalizing consequences for speaking out. And that to me says stuff too, like, well, they, they must mess around with people too behind the scenes because like we hear about planting stuff and, and things like that. Like Cheryl Ackeson has, has talked about getting information from it. You know, the FBI, for instance, that that they were going to plant uh, CP, am I going to say the term, you know, on like her husband's computer, like there were plans for that or something. I mean, that is nuts. And, and that you would have somebody used to work there. I, look, if a guy who works there knows this kind of stuff of, of weaponization of these law enforcement agencies and potentially life ending or life altering consequences will erupt, will not even come on my dinky little podcast to talk about it. That should send a real message to all of us that we got a serious problem here. Not that I think this weaponization of the federal government committee is doing anything about it, but anyway, let's keep watching. So first off, this guy tells us he doesn't know anything about medicine, but he's the guy telling the big tech companies what to flag. And then um, he also won't tell you what's disinformation or misinformation. In other words, he won't tell you the intent of the government. He won't tell you if the government was lying or uh, whether they you know, were just wrong. And, and yet they're, def he won't tell us the definition of the terms because they will define the terms for us, but for themselves, it's just like, no, we don't really know. You know, that's not my job. My job wasn't that like, what was your job as a communications specialist? Exactly. Like what, what exactly was your job as a communication specialist? If you don't know any of these things and should you be a communication specialist? If you don't know what you're talking about. All right. Am I yelling? I think I am. Let's keep watching. Well, again, Congressman, my role was uh, as, as a communicator on behalf of the best information available and the role of the platforms. The was best information available, but he doesn't know if it's the best information available because he's not a medical professional, which he fully admits. Um, to have a set of policies that they enforced on their own. Um, and, and that, you know, my, uh, engagement with them had, you know, no bearing on what they're Yeah. No okay. So then that's, that's another thing I would just take away and, and let you all know about is that, yeah, he's basically saying that like, look, we're just, I'm just telling you what the best information is, even though I don't know what it is because I don't know what I'm talking about, but it didn't do anything. It had no bearing on their decision-making. Okay. Yeah. It had no bearing on their decision-making, even though like, you know, one of these other back and forth, one of the social media platform emails that came out was like, basically we got to do this because we're under pressure from the Biden administration. And remember, we all remember Jen Psaki during the White House press meetings talking about how Facebook was killing people and stuff like that. Bearing. No bearing. Well, Congressman, the again, third day, the third day, who's, uh, who's, uh, who's Clark Humphrey? Um, Clark Humphrey was uh, the digital director for the uh, COVID. Work, did you work with her? Uh, yes, Congressman, I did. Part of, part of the uh, White House operation in the same area, right? You worked with her? Uh, Congressman, she worked in a similar area. Yeah, OK. And when, so when she said on the third day, the Biden administration wanted to flag the below tweet, wondering if you can get moving on, uh, get moving on the process for having it removed ASAP. That's not trying to impact what the what the platforms do. That's not that's not telling the platform what kind of speech can be out there. Congressman, uh, again, we had the ability to uh, uh, flag whatever we wanted. And the platforms had an ability to say, no, I can't speak to whether or not they took any action on, on the particular. Well, no, if, if they said, no, they question. get to, the president of the United States says that Facebook's killing people. They obviously felt the pressure. That's why they're having that, that group text conversation. How about this one? When the Biden. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, like, I just can't speak to it. I mean, these meetings are such a waste of time because no one is going to, I, they they obviously know there's this lawsuit before the Supreme Court, which includes an Alison Morrow video, because Dr. Aaron Cariotti, one of the plaintiffs, uh, is part of that Missouri v. Biden case. 
Uh, one of our videos was taken by YouTube, taken down because of his claim that natural immunity was a real thing. Crazy that that was crazy enough to be removed by YouTube. Also, uh, basically was the beginning of the end of my job at the Washington Department of Natural Resources. But anyway, I've told that story a million times. Um, so yeah, so there's, there's a guy's just like, I don't know. I don't know if it had any. So he's not going to say anything that's going to implicate them in this lawsuit either. And the Supreme Court decision, it's like, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, for somebody who has such an important job that we're paying for with our tax dollars, this guy really, it's fascinating. And I, I think at the end of the day, like that's where my real beef with the communications department comes from <laughs> is that, and I saw it firsthand because I work for a communications department for state government that, that at the end of the day, the taxpayer is paying to get the spun essentially propaganda at, at, at best. I mean, maybe at worst, I'm going to say, okay, at best, at best, it's the perspective of the officials that are running the department at worst. It's total false propaganda. That's what we're paying for. And I frankly think that communications department should be paid for by, you know, the private, if it's an elected official, then fine, have your press press secretary, but you pay for them out of your own pocket. I, you know, and then if the government is going to pay for somebody to do FOIA, you know, you're going to pay somebody to do FOIA as in a PDR, like a public disclosure agency or something like that, then those people, all they shouldn't be like spinning information. They should be handing you the documents and just put, put, put way more people, like take all that money for all these way too big, huge communications department that are taking gazillions of dollars from taxpayers to basically block taxpayers from knowing what's going on. Take all that money and put it into a, a you know disclosure agency, and all they do is just do disclosures. And that way, we won't have to wait a year or two years to get our documents, and then we can all figure out what's going on. But these, you know, th this whole like paying for somebody to have public relations department that is is not is not for transparency with the taxpayer. I think is a real racket. Honestly, okay, we're almost done. Let's keep watching administration told the american people the border is secure was that misinformation or disinformation uh, this is dumb uh, congressman again I'm, I'm here to discuss uh, my engagements with social media platforms i'm and just asking you were in the biden administration when these kind of statements were i think i was may how about this anyway. one? When the biden administration said the inflation reduction act will actually reduce inflation was that misinformation or disinformation congressman again i'm, I'm here to discuss my interactions with social yeah. media companies let me go back to the first question in the last 13 seconds any, any chance you'll answer one question for me when the Biden administration told the American people that the vaccinated couldn't get the virus, were they guessing or lying? Congressman, we were uh, uh, communicating on behalf of the best medical research that we had available at the time. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. I mean, look, there was, they're not responsible for telling us all the wrong stuff. They were just communicating the best research they had at the time, even though he said he's not a medical expert and he doesn't know what he's talking about. A sponsor that if you're interested in would help support my work. It's at getliverhelp.com slash Allison. If you've ever thought about doing a liver detox, consider them. They have all natural ingredients in this. They have turmeric, for instance, is something I take every day. And I spend a lot of money just on turmeric and you get turmeric plus a whole bunch of other stuff for the price of the see on the screen. Um, $37 basically. And well, that's third per bottle. If you get six, one bottle is $44, but you in addition, get an Omega, uh, Omega supplement too. And this is the ingredient list. If you ever thought about, like I said, your chronic fatigue, pain, uh, weight issues, stuff like that. Consider it. It may not be the, the cure all, but it definitely can't hurt your liver to put some of this stuff uh, in your body, turmeric, bioperine, beet, dandelion root, milk thistle, artichoke extract, ginger, alfalfa. A lot of the stuff is stuff I take anyway. And, uh, fatty liver is a real problem in the United States specifically. It used to be associated, they thought with alcoholism. It turns out it's just because we're eating a bunch of crap here. And if, uh, you find it difficult to get off of that stuff, or you're in the process of doing that, and you want to give your liver, your body a little bit of an extra boost, getliverhelp.com slash Allison.